Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris from Nova Scotia Living, or it's the next day. I don't know. I filmed some yesterday. I can't keep track. I need to unload my phone. I can't keep track. <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday, we made the beef and broccoli and rice and my husband barbecued chicken. There's leftover of that, so I'm going to use it today for supper. So I'm not going to even worry about that. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. We got up about an hour ago. We went for a walk. Outside is all wet. It's supposed to rain again today, but it wasn't raining when we went. But boy, were the birds squawking. Weren't singing, they were squawking. A whole bunch of them. Weren't they? Eh? Anyways, they took care of their business, which is awesome. I had a shot of vinegar, and I'm about to have my coffee. I'm going to finish up a book I started yesterday. And, yeah, I have TV for dogs on. I need to republish a video I scheduled to publish yesterday. There's a copyright on it. The dang music for plants, it's, you can't have that playing. So, if you see videos, and I have slight music playing in the background, that doesn't sound like the music that would be for plants. It's me putting music over top of it. So, anyways, I just don't want to get strikes and my channel be shut down. You know what I mean? So I need to, I can publish it and have the strike or, you know, redo it. And it's not hard to redo it. I just go to that part of the video and tag some music over top of it. But not so loud that you can't hear me talking. I don't know. Frustrating. Frustrating. But I have to uh, give Maze a bath today, and everybody's going to have showers. And Messiah's coming back for her friend's from her friend's house today. Um, I'll check on Frog and Fergus and the guppies. And um, I can't remember their names. There's four guppies. We initially had five, but one passed away, unfortunately. Um, it was acting kind of strange the very first day we got it. So it didn't, you know, that's too bad. But there's still four guppies in there. Um... I think one is nacho and one is cheese and one is scooter and one is skitter or something. I don't know. I forget. I'll ask her when she comes home. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to try to finish that up while I have my coffee. Everybody's still asleep. And I was having the same dream over and over and over and over and over and over and over the last part of the morning, like right before I woke up. I can't remember what it is now. I am determined to start a dream journal because it was, I know when I was laying in bed, I was like, why am I doing this again? Why am I doing this again? And I just wake up because Boris and Violet are, you know, ready. And now it's gone, poof. And I've, that's run through my brain for like 50 times probably. I'm hoping it comes to me again today. And I don't think it's anything significant, but maybe it is in symbolism. I have no idea. <laughs> but I can't remember, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a long time. It's about 8 after 11. I just had a shower. Like, I really just came downstairs. Um, almost done that. Almost done that. I started it last night. I read the first book. The day before, this is the second book, I'll finish it this morning. About another, like, I don't know, not very much left. Um, I just got a load of laundry going, and my husband's up there. Mally's in the kitchen making pizza. Maziah got home from her friends. Mally and Misha made, cut up some cucumber and stuff and made some eggs she had. And I haven't heard hide nor hair of Maze. He might have came down while I was in the shower, I don't know, but I don't see him down here. So, anyways, I'm sitting over here because I got a light right here, and it's not right beside the TV, and I don't want to go lay up in bed and read because I don't need to fall asleep this time of day. And it's been raining off and on, like hard raining, and then slow raining, and then hard lit raining, and then slow raining, but it's all good. I actually have this lamp on and the one over in the dining room, too, so the house doesn't seem so dark over there. But I'm just going to sit in my clothes folding chair and read my book a little bit. Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy from the next day. Or Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I'm just going out to catch the bus with Misha at Maze. And it's another rainy day. It's not raining right now, but it's going to be raining all day, apparently. And I can't sit in my chair. I'm going to dump it out. But it's 
all full of water. <sighs> I'll turn it like that. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I got. Well, Misha has her jacket in her arms. Maybe has got a jacket on. Oh, is that the bus? I think it is. <sighs> they haven't sitting over there on the ground. Here comes the bus. All right, Maze, remember after school, pizza party. Well, I know you'll remember. Have a good day. I love you so much. Here comes those other kids are running. Here's Misha waving. Maybe there's another one coming. He's supposed to. There's usually three. Maybe they're going to stop up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have a stop up there, but they must be having a rough morning. Getting up and at them. I, I get it. I've been there many a time in my day. But I'm going to go. Well, Messiah and Messiah's up. Manly, I poked my head in when I woke the other kids up, so I'll go give her a second wake-up call. And I'll feed Violet and Boris maybe their breakfast. We'll see. I got up at 5.30 today. I was doing my thing, had my vinegar, all that jazz. Um, started another book. I'm going through that. I'm taking a break from social media, like, except for, like, YouTube. Um, but... Like TikTok, I wasn't a big, not that I wasn't a big fan, I I cut myself off a long time ago, but then I kind of fell back down in that rabbit hole a bit, and I'm just like, I can, I go through these behaviors where I get manic about things and I just get engulfed, so I'll unplug from that and I'll read a handful of books so I can just use a different part of my brain and then I can level out. Oh, self-soothing, I guess. Anyways, I'm going to go give Mally her other wake-up call. friends I have been crap about filming today all I've done was look at that hair's all out all I have done is I read a book and did laundry that's it my husband's in town picking up Misha and Mays had a pizza party after school um for their basketball like basketball's done but they have a, like a little pizza party at the end of the year and I'm gonna use leftover rice and chicken for supper I'm gonna open a can of vegetables but those guys are having pizza. Mally and Maziah just got home. And I just got done taking these guys out for a short walk. It's sprinkling out. But, um, yeah. Now I'm deciding what book to start now. 
<laughs> I'm just on a binge. I go through these binges of reading and then I stop and read and stop. I won't. I do have a book channel. I haven't put a video up in quite some time. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I really just finished it, but I just binged that whole whole book. It's well, how many pages? I don't know, but I really just dove right in. 419, but that was from this morning, like from this morning and binged and rotated laundry and did that. I didn't worry about supper. I did sweep the kitchen floor, though. I did do that, and um, yeah, <laughs> that's my day. I'm sorry. It's not that ent entertaining, but that's my life right now. I do have to do something a little later on, um, but that's not till after, so... I'm just waiting for my husband and the kids to get home. Well, hey friends, it is another day. It's the next day, so I think this video is going to be squished three days because I hardly filmed it all yesterday and I don't think much the day before. And this burner is smoking, of course. But it's 10 after 2 in the afternoon now. I sent the kids off today. Gosh, I think it's grains of rice that fell down in there. I'm just going to let them burn off. Um, it's been raining all day today. I had a session this morning. Um, and I, <laughs> I've been reading all day on this rainy day, honestly. I'm kind of chilled. I think when I turn the furnace on, I don't want to make a fire because I don't want to go out in the rain and bring in wood. I'll wait till my husband gets home. He can do that. But Mally cooked up this hamburger, not yesterday, the day before, because she made homemade pizza. And I want to use this up. I want to use this up. Um, so I'm just going to make like a goulash thing. I have these twisty noodles that open a couple of cans of tomato sauce. And that should do. That'll do it. Um, there's not a whole lot of hamburger here, though. That's the thing. Enough. I'll try not to make so much pasta that there'll be leftovers. Like, I want a good proportion. It's not a full pack of hamburgers because she used some on her pizza. So, it's all cooked. I just want to open some sauce to get it going. I got a pot of water over there. I just thought I'll bring you guys along while I do this because I haven't done anything else. I'm just going to get some pasta sauce. All right, this was in the fridge. She had it covered. It's about three quarters of a can. Another one, this is like uh, spicy red peppers and chili. And I'm just gonna put a can of tomato soup in there too. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, but I'm doing it today because I got lots of soup. And yeah, so like I said, this is all cooked. I can add this to it actually and just warm it up that way if this burner will stay going. I'll see. Now, I will take the dogs out here. I haven't gone for an afternoon walk like I usually do. But it's all rainy and cold. And I don't want to. <laughs> I will take them out to pee when we go get the kids off the bus. <clears throat> but they've been running around here playing all day, then sleeping and playing. We did go out on the back deck for a little bit when they wanted to go out. But, this can opener doesn't work as good as it used to. There, gosh. Now, if this doesn't work, like if this burner shuts off, I'll just warm it up on that other burner where the noodle water is. I don't really need that anymore. And one more. Watch these cans out, put them in the put them in the uh, recycle. Yeah, 
I've been on a reading binge lately. And they're all like paranormal books. <laughs> Specifically paranormal romance books. <laughs> I go through phases. They could be like super horror, like extreme horror or ghost folk horror, or could be like like nonfiction. It could be um, like zombie apocalypse. I read all sorts. Time travel ones. I don't read a whole lot of science fiction. I do read science fiction horror sometimes. Not a whole lot though. But yeah. So that's what I've been doing. I think paranormal romance is like my comfy reading books, like cozy. It's paranormal, so it's not reality. So it's easier to take, I guess. I don't know. What is burning now? Yeah, that's down there burning. So it's working. I'm going to turn this on. That's going to be loud. Once that comes up to bubble, I'm going to put a little salt in it. I'm going to try not to add too much pasta to cook. I'm terrible at judging that. I really am. But, yeah. I'm just going to let these dry together warm up and then I'll add the pasta to it and if I have to add more sauce I will but I don't know I find with twisty noodles you need a little more sauce because they're twisty and there's a lot of crevices for the sauce to get in we don't want dry noodles but that's just built up to bubble um just a second I think the majority of that extra smoke is gone. I'm going to turn this down now. It's fog of the eternal cinching it. And I don't have my kitchen scissors, of course. Of course I don't. Why would I? I don't want that splatter in everywhere. Forrest, what are you doing? So that'll... Mm, I feel like adding more because I'm scared it's not going to be enough. <laughs> but I do that every time and then I have more than enough. So I just want enough for everybody to have at least one good helping. I don't need leftovers. I don't need any of that. Um, just break that up a bit. Oh. Maybe just a little smidge more. Just a little bit. That little bit there. All right, that's, that's gotta be good. That's gotta be enough. that off and just leave it on the hot burner for a bit. It'll warm up and then when I add the hot pasta to it, it'll be fine. But it's 2.18 now. Once this starts real bubbling, I'll turn it way down. It takes like, what, 10 minutes to cook? And for now I'm going to rinse these cans out. Alright, I just started the dishwasher from the morning breakfast. That's how far behind I am. Just strained this pasta. Read a little bit more. This is the book. It's called Problem Child. It's by Sam Hall. I think she's an independent um, author from Australia. Yeah, never read any of her books, but I had one and I'm giving it a go. So, yeah. 
So I'm about to take these guys out. I do have a raincoat. It's 229 now. So usually I like a little more hamburger in here, but that's all right. It'll be all right. It'll survive. Just need to make sure I mix it all up. And we'll hope for the best. So I'll put my raincoat on. I'll take those guys out. I do have a towel on the porch ready for when they come in to wipe their paws off because they always have muddy paws or wet paws that leave mark marks. I have the burner shut off now, but um, they're not going to eat this as soon as they get home. But I'm just going to let it sit. Sit on this burner and leave it so I can take these guys out. I don't know if I can take you guys out just because it's raining, but we'll see. All right. What do you two have to say? We're kind of under the umbrella of the tree. I'm not going to keep you out in the rain much, but yeah, it's full on raining. I mean, it's not pouring, but it's constant rain. It's supposed to rain every day this week, even up to Sunday, I believe. But yeah. This is me. I have like my husband's thick thing under because it's cold out. But it's not the one that goes way down to my ankles. I think that's in the shop. But I'm just going to wait here uh, for the kids to get home. Alright, this is taking for friggin' ever. These guys are having fun though. They're going to be all wet. Guy across the road just left in this white van. Should be coming along. It's like 2.45. <sighs> it's here, finally. There it is. Yay. You're a right proper mess, Violet. Look at the paw prints on your back. Heaven's sakes. Oh. <sighs> Keep you covered, hopefully. She doesn't have her jacket on. How was school? What? Go around where they can't reach it because their paws will be dirty. That's good. Hey, bud, where's your jacket? Oh, for heaven's sakes, go around where the dogs can't reach it because their paws will be dirty. Well, good morning friends it's the next morning i'm putting an ending on this sucker so i can start a proper video i'm sorry this has kind of been a not the not a good video it's just little bits and pieces of me popping in talking trying but i just i don't know i don't know i have a lot going on but it's about five to six now i'm sitting over here there's my coffee here's my fancy footstool i bought for 15 dollars here's that book i was showed you last night. I'm almost done it. There, I'll finish that this morning. And oh, I would just pack the kids' lunches except for chicken wings. My husband got chicken wings, like those already pre-made ones. I'm just going to heat some up and put them in their lunches, but I'll do that after I wake them up so it's not sitting in their thermos an extra hour, like an extra hour. You know. So... Violet and Boris are here. We went for a little walk and everything. Yeah, there's leftover goulash from last night from supper, so I might use some of that today. I don't know. We'll see. I could have put that in our lunch too. I never thought. I never thought. I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I just want to put an ending on this so I can hopefully get upstairs today and edit a couple videos and, um, yeah. Oh, Francis, yeah, he's saying hi. There he is. He, uh, he's growing quite a bit. He's almost touching the ceiling. One of his branches are almost touching the ceiling. So he's been growing like a weed, but he's not a weed. He's a grapefruit tree. But anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, no, i got to sit here. 
because of the lamp for when I'm reading or over in that rocking chair where I fold laundry. I can sit there comfortably or during the day I can open that curtain over where Violet's giving herself a bath, the light from the outside. I just like proper lighting when I read so I don't strain my eyes but this morning it's here with my coffee and my book. I got TV for dogs on and the lunch is almost all packed so with that I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Boink!